Hi, my name is Karen Garrett. Welcome to the Gosden Ranch School of the Arts. This is Advanced Fashion and I'm very excited to go on this exciting adventure together. I love fashion designing. I love anything to do with the arts and I know you do too. So this is going to be a really fun time. I This may be a long video for the lectures. It's just zoom past what you need to zoom past. I don't know exactly where you are in your um, journey here learning how to draw croquis and clothing so I'm going to um, start from scratch we're going to draw a we're going to take a picture of a standing um, frontal female and a three-quarter frontal female that's for today so what I did was um, and then zoom past so if you know what to do just go ahead but I have support videos I want you to watch also and then you can put this together just like I did this is marker paper I took a copy and a copy here too. Take them on. And the next thing I'm going to do is tape tracing paper on top of that. Okay, so now what we need today is tracing paper, marker paper, probably let's see one, two, three sheets of marker paper, a tracing paper, tape, pencil, a pen, a sharpie, and a ruler. All right, I'm going to change the angle and you can follow along with me. When we're finished, you're going to have one, two, three, four to get to the croquis style that we're going to stretch on a larger piece. And we're going to have one, two, three, four. And this is your sketch pad. I need to see this when you submit. Okay, I want to watch your process. So make sure that you send this whole page in along with the stretched out frontal croquis female and the three quarters stretched out croquis female. Okay, I need to see those three pages submitted prior to 7 a.m. Monday. All right, so let me change the angle here. All right, here we are. So I take this all together as one thing because sometimes I want to move my paper around. You may want to put it to your board, it's up to you. So what we're going to do to start off with is we're going to be parallel to our paper, so I like this ruler the best because you can see through it. You can make your paper parallel to the lines on this ruler, and this is a fashion ruler, so that's wonderful. At the top of her head, all the way across the paper, we're going to do zero. So you probably remember all of this, but if you don't, I'm helping you remember. And I'm doing this upside down, so just remember that. Um, okay, so, and I will, I will revise my drawings in the end since I am doing this upside down. Okay, so there you go on the chin. That's one. Through the chest and right at the deltoid cut right there is going to be the two. The three is at the waist and the elbows. The four is the wrist and slightly below that the crotch. But that is four. Okay, five. So let's see, that's about five eighths, a little over five eighths. So a little over five eighths would be the number five, which is the widest place of the hips. But she's walking, so it looks like she's thinner there. Is that five? No, that's five. Okay. Six is the knee. Seven is the calf. And remember, we're taking a real person and we're going to change her into a croquis figure. And then we go here to the 9, which is the ankle. Let me make sure. Yeah, ankle. Okay, right there. Ankle. And then right here, in front of the toe, that is the floor or the tippy toe. Okay, 
So six, seven. I want you to follow along and do this on your own paper. And then you're gonna turn this in. So you're gonna be doing exactly what I'm doing. All right, I'm gonna do her and we'll meet back here. Okay, so now that's finished. Nice and neat, horizontal. We're gonna give ourselves a center line. So it's easier on this one because you go right between the eyes, right between the breasts, down through the straight here. And you can be parallel to the side of your paper too to figure out, or you can look through these lines to figure out where it's parallel and move it over, try to find you a nice center line. So that's move it over just a little bit. Precision is a big deal in fashion, so make sure you're precise. That's my center line for her. And now she's all curvy and stuff, so you think, oh, what do I do? What do I go off of? This is my three-quarter pose. Well, try to go through, I try to go right here through the sternum and close to the belly button of the sternum. So you kind of do this. Here's your sternum. Here's your belly button. I draw my curve in like that. And then somewhere in the middle, like this is the left and this is the right, I sort of go for the center, you know, kind of halfway in the middle. So that's what I'm going to call my center line, somewhere in the middle of that curve. Okay, so the first thing you're going to do is, of course, the egg for the head. Trace around that. You're going to do your eye line at half, your nose line at half of half, and then your mouth. You know that the ears are from the eye line to the nose line. So you've got that. You've got the beautiful, really thin neck. Now here's your shoulders. She has hair up here on the deltoid, but for the most part, these shoulders are at one and a half, so I'm going to go ahead and do like this. Although, you're just going to trace her. We're going to make her into a croaky layer. So let's just trace that around. That's her deltoid. So see, she's not a croaky yet. Okay, now we're going to have the... Let's go ahead and trace these, the breasts. And trace this. Here's your nice waist at three. We can have your arms. Go ahead and trace her like that. Please go through all of these steps with me. I'm going to do the hand. Now the hands are only four and three quarters. So let's do that. Okay. Get our hip, our knee, calf. And foot. Ankle bone. Leg. Here's your crotch. And then we're going to have the hips here. Fat of the calf. And the other shoe back there. All right. Below this, just a little bit, is going to be her belly button. Okay. Go ahead and do the same thing. Set it up down here. Trace it around her and then we're going to break it up make it better okay so now at this point they're both in that position and what we're going to do is take we're going to do ovals in certain places one of them is going to be right here at the three which is going to be a sideways oval for the elbow it goes all the way from edge to edge. The wrist is right here at four, same thing, all the way from edge to edge. Don't just put a dot. Okay, so the wrist. Okay, now we're going to do the knee, and I want you to do an oval edge to edge for the whole knee. You'll be able to tell where the knee is, nice vertical. Edge to edge, please. Okay, and then your ankles. Okay, so now we're set with that. Okay, great, wonderful job. So what we want to do at this point is 
we're going to I'm going to go ahead and help you make this here so what we're going to do is the egg head Then we're going to go, oh, we, we need a center line first. Okay. You know what to do here. Half, half a half for the nose, half a half for the mouth. Ears from the nose line to the eye line. Your hairline is the top two thirds. Okay. And then we're going to come down to the waist. The waist is a basically a head plus a half, so not too not too big, and it's always at the three. So if this is our head from here to here, the waist is probably going to be here, right there. See what I'm saying? Just a little bit wider than your head. And the way I do it is, I try to do it at an indention, like a backward C, a C and a backward C. It's not a U, so don't don't get like that. But this is going to help you go from the rib cage, which is here. To the top of the pelvic bone so that you actually have some um, it'll, it'll be more uh, interesting and anatomically correct so now from here that is your pelvic bone we're going to come down okay sometimes you can curve it if you would like or you can keep it straight at that point and then your hips are going to be the same as your shoulders so same thing this is the bottom of your rib cage so I round it off and I make a straight line up there to my shoulder. Okay, now we're going to go back over here. This is your deltoid, so let's do a sideways oval. It has a cut, it goes there and there. So, like dramatic, it would be like that, but don't do that. It has to be very smooth. But this is the deltoid cut and the bicep. You can see yourself. Okay, um, you can touch your own arm and you'll see. Okay, so at that point, if this dot right there is that dot right here you're going oh I went too high one and a half is the top of the shoulders so make your mark at one and a half so it's right here then you're going to go like this so it's a little above that line because you you don't want it to be super harsh you want it to have a little bit of femininity not too big otherwise it should look masculine you're trying to make her lean. So there you go. The neck comes down straight, long and lean. And just curve a little bit over here. Curve over that deltoid. Over the deltoid. <coughs> you're gonna you're gonna come in and then you can come out with your bicep. So come in slightly, come out slightly to the bicep. This is the bottom of the arm. And what's it what's right there? That is your hello. Okay, the wrist is right here on, it's supposed to be on the floor. So see hers is a little bit above, that one's on. You, you want them on. So we're, we're starting to work with her. Now this right here is not a straight line, a straight line like that. It is a, think of a bat, and it goes like rounded at the top and skinny like that. So think of that. So I would go from here, kind of around and back down, give you a nice, pretty, lower arm okay and then your fingers tips if they were hanging down straight which nobody holds their hands straight down would be four and three quarters but we're going to go ahead and do our hands here with them okay we just make them these are so tiny that you just you just sort of you know how to do hands so that's that okay crotch is just slightly below the four and now we are going to do the chest. So right here in the center of the chest. So where is he? There we go. And what I do is I make a circle. Do not touch in the middle though. It has to touch the edge of the torso. But not in the center. And it can't be used and it can't be flat or it will not look nice. And try to make them the same size. So that was a little off, but still good okay so that's pretty pretty much it okay now here we go down to the knees so when we do the knees um, we're going to go ahead and keep it like this we're going to stretch it out on the last one 
stop it, keep it. Let's see, we're gonna go, okay, so we're right here close to the center line, they're touching. So this one is gonna go here. Vertical oval. This one's going to overlap, slightly bigger. And now what I do is I go to it and around it slightly. So go inside just a little bit because there is the meniscus right there. Meniscus, whatever you call that. There you have it. That's your quad. Okay, this is your hip coming in here. Don't get too pointy right there. Come around it. Seven is going to be, let's do our sevens. Those are our calves, the fattest part of the calf. So here we are. We're going to come around that and into the ankle, coming out here. Okay, so let's do our ankle bone. You need to roll around the ankle bone. So there you go. And we're going to have our foot right there. And then last little foot right there. Okay, so that's basically what you have for your um, girl that's in the you know, for frontal. So now we're gonna do the same thing here, except we're going to tilt it. So I want you to have the tilt lines. This one is your way, see the tilt? And then the hips, same thing, I mean the crotch. Right there, tilting the same thing. Knees, um, chest is pretty good. Uh, the belly button is obviously below there. Below the three, did we do belly button? Right here. Okay, so, and now you're going to do the same thing, but we start off with this curve. So I want you to go to your four. It ends basically right here. And it starts off right here. So you're going to do that. I want you to go ahead through this line. I'm going to stay parallel. So try to keep the same angle. Right here at the four right there. It's going to be the same deal with the uh, knees. Same thing. Okay. So now at this point, you are going to, let's start with the head. The head is slightly off-centered. You would want to go from the sternum because it'll be right above the sternum. Do a nice egg. That should be something you really know how to do very well by now. Half, half, and half. One third, one third, and then the ears, they're little bitty. It's okay. One and a half is your shoulders, but let's see, are they straight? Uh, they're a little tilt. So we're going to go there. Okay. We're going to go to our waist, and remember, it has to be just slightly wider, maybe like where the ears are and stuff. Give yourself that little little C. The reason why I do that is in case we start doing belts and stuff, then it keeps the croaky from being fat. All right, so now we're going to come up. Don't swing out too far. It'll look like a bat, like a flying bat, not a bat like that, but, a, you know, a flying bat. Okay, so we're centered. We can go ahead and do our chest, but we're not going to touch in the middle. Okay, and then you know what we do here. Slightly above, a little bit at an angle. Slightly above, a little bit at an angle. <coughs> okay, we're going to go across here. Let's see how long that comes in. That's your um, bicep, but your elbows here. You're going to have your wrist there, we do the bat, see how nice that is, how easy, and then we're going to do the hand, the thumb, right here is going to be our deltoid, our bicep to the elbow, and then the wrist right here, this beautiful little bat, <coughs> and then the hand. Now, the hips. So remember, they can't be wider than that, so just sort of measure here. You've got your, see how nice that is with the rib cage? Some people don't do that, they just make it angle. I think it's not a much nicer um, croaky figure if it has this right in here. Just don't be too dramatic about it, it'll look weird. 
but when you put the clothes on it, it makes it look great. Okay, so there's your belly button. Here's your crotch just slightly below. You're gonna go now, okay. Sometimes people wanna come from here to there and do a dot. I don't do that, just, it's not necessary. But you don't want your legs to be broken, so you do wanna make sure that they're standing and not this way and that way. But anyway, let's go straight. Let's look at here, okay, so from there to there. This is my knee. And then we're gonna look look at this. If I go like that, just, just for my own self, I can see where to put this circle. So, okay, fine. Do like that. And then, so see how they're all straightened in a straight, but this comes out farther. Okay, so I am gonna make my calf a little bit bigger just because it makes it prettier. So here we go. Inside of there, roll around it. Outside to the calf. Inside make myself a little beautiful little um, ankle bone okay same thing here so we're gonna come inside there's there's your hamstring roll around here in some of the videos you'll be able to see the um, let me sweep in a little bit I got a little bit too big on that inside there so that's a knee come like that okay very nice and then we're gonna have the shoe the foot the shoe okay there nice oops Okay, and now we're going to do the the knee. Oh, let's see. I'm gonna put this up higher on my right here on my my uh, angle. There you go. That's better. That's what I was doing. I'm doing it upside down, so that's what was my problem. Okay, and so now we can come over here. This one's swinging out a little bit. That one. Okay, so I keep going to the ankle. So. Uh, Hamstring, knee, calf. There's no ankle. There's no ankle that sticks out on a side leg, and this knee has to come out slightly. Okay, and then the beautiful foot. I'm doing this upside down. I'll have to turn it over when I'm all finished. And but anyway, you might want to try drawing upside down. It's kind of fun. All right, so now we're all set with that. Now, at this point, let's keep going on this one and this one. We won't, I don't think we're gonna have to have four. So why don't we do this? This is called the, um, the hit, some people do a hit box, like, like this. And they, they think that that's helpful. So you can do that. I don't think it's necessary, but there's different ways of learning. And um, it depends on if that works for you or not. So I think that that's pretty nice. So at this point, I think we are ready to get our um, 9 by 12 inch marker paper. And we are going to take this and this, and we're going to stretch them out and make them into a beautiful, two beautiful croaky women. Okay, so I'm going to get set. Go ahead and finish up and come back to me. Okay, so I have had my two 9 by 12 sheets of paper. I did a center line with a ruler, with a ruler. Then I went down one and an eighth to the very first line, which is marked zero. This is page, let's go, so you can see. A, this is page B. We're gonna keep using these, so make sure that you label them just like I label them when you use um, submit. One and an eighth down to the top of the head, which is zero. All the sections have to be the same length, you know that. So all of these need to be labeled 0, 1 through 9. Same thing over here, B, 0, 1 through 9. The last little pit piece here is 3 and a quarter, I mean 3 quarters right here. Okay, and before we get going on that, <clears throat> make sure to label this sheet 3. Okay, so when you submit that to Brightspace, this is example 3. And I can refer to that. Okay, so what we're going to start off with is A. Let's put A by her. This is, she's A. She is B. Okay, so we're going to start off with A. Okay, now we, now see how the, the sections are get bigger, littler, and all of that? 
but this is what she looks like. We have now cleaned it up, one and an eighth. We're going to be looking at this one. So I'm going to cover that up. And we're going to draw her and perfect her. So yes, she looks like a little robot right now, and that's okay. But this is how we start. So, and remember, I am doing this upside down. Once I'm finished, I'll clean it up and I'll post my finished pieces for you. So zero and one, that's the head. Beautiful egg head. The chin has to be smaller than the top of the head. Right at half is the eye line. Make sure it's straight. One third, one third is the hair. Half is the nose. Half of the half is the mouth. You know that the ears go from the eye line down to the nose. Now, if you know all this part, just zoom right past. Okay, we're going to. Those were not the same size, but like I said, I'll perfect it once I'm looking at it right set up. Okay, um, then there's half, one, two, three, half. The hair kind of does a little swoop, comes down in front of the ear. There's no line between the ear and the head. If you can't remember how to do this, look at your, um, you can go online. I do this in my drawing one, so flap, roller coaster, hole, flap, hole, roller coaster, get off, okay. So then we have the three circles for the nose, the overlap, we will work, we'll work on that. There's the two circles for the lips on the top, then one on the bottom. So we're just ready to, um, Clean that up a little later. The this is going to be straight, so at one and a half is where the top of the shoulders are. So you do one and a half. The neck is thin. You remember the, we're going to do men next week, so I'll show you that. But very thin, straight lines. Don't do a swoop like that, like a vase. And then, then at the very bottom, clean it up and circle it off slightly. Okay. Now we're going to go straight down to the waist, which is three. In fact, what I'd like for you to do is write all the words that's on your assignment. You can see them for yourself, so I'll do that in just a minute. Um, but you know that waist is three. It's one and a half of these, so about outside the ears, somewhere like that. So we come down to the three line, and you know how I do. I like to have a very nice, slight and subtle C backward C situation. Okay, now keep it. If you go way out here like that, you've got a bat that's flying. Don't do that. If it's too straight up and down, it'll look like a little uh, boy girl kind of thing. So there's there's a there's a happy place to do it, and that's what you need to do. They need to be the same size. Okay, so there you set. And this has to be the same as the hips. So come down. And we can look here too, but you just know that as a rule. It's a little bit too far out. There we go. Some people do like to round them. I don't round them at this point because the clothes will do that for me. Okay, so now at this point, we're gonna, the hip is, that's the, the widest part of the like hips area, except it's sort of really there, but that's what they say. So at this point, the six, where is it? It's right on the line. So right here. Vertical, beautiful vertical oval, and the other one, same thing. Not, not too big, not too little. It's got to be just the right size. Seven, so let's make that little line so we can see. Okay, so this one, see this this oval's off the line slightly. So I'm gonna go over here with my oval it has to be wider than the knee because it is the fat of your calf. This one's overlapping, so we're going to overlap that, and this one's in front, the other one's in the back. And then now on the eight, which is the ankle bone, I want you to do it on, on the eight. So we're going to center that, nice beautiful oval. This one's here. Okay, great. 
That one's in front, so I'm going to erase this. Okay, so now here we go. Not too pointy. Come in slightly to the edge. Roll around it a little bit. Come to the outside of the seven, which is your calf. And you're going to roll in and around the ankle bone. Same thing here. Rolling around. Nice and pretty. Outside. Cool. And this is totally on the outside. <clears throat> Front ankles have an ankle bone. This is an ankle bone. And then this is going to be your thigh. It has to come in front. It comes inside for your ankle bone. And then we're going to erase all of that right there. Okay. And I can see if you did all of these steps. Um, my, I have a really good camera that zo zooms in. And I can, I can even see intentions on the page. <coughs> so... Let's not trace. Let's go ahead and do it ourselves. You need to learn. Okay, so um, eight and three quarters is the bottom of the foot. So here we go. If you have forgotten how to do feet from drawing fashion one, go ahead and just, there's lots of Googles on that. Okay, so that's pretty much it. <clears throat> All right, so we're going to come back up to here. Beautiful deltoids. Come across there. Okay, the deltoid cut stops at the two line. So we're going to come in slightly for that. And a little bit, oh, let's go ahead and do our elbows. Under the arm. This is the fattest place of your arm, so make sure that it's bigger than anywhere else on your arm. Right here. Okay, so there. Deltoid. <clears throat> Go ahead and do your wrist exactly on that line, which is your four, which is equal to your crotch. And then remember the little back. Okay. The farthest down your hand can go is four and three quarters. So your this is half of that. So we're going to go ahead, and that's, I call it the cowbell. Looks like a cowbell. I curve it off. This is half of that. So I do my second curve and then my V. And that's where I know how to do my, where to put my fingers. Other people have their ways of doing it too. You can look those up. But this hands still have to look kind of nice. That looks like a robot hand, but I'll deal with it in a minute. But that's that's the measurements. And we, so anyway, we will get that. And it has to look pretty. So anyway, just. Keep those are so tiny. Just get it like that for now, and we will. Ooh, looks like it's hard. drawing upside down. It's a lot of fun. I suggest you try. Okay, so that is that belly button below, just right there, just hitting the sides, making a circle. Okay, so when you're doing your finished piece like this. In the end, you're going to erase from the two line up. So it's going to look like that when you're finished. Okay. All right. So that's one. And I'm going to clean this up and make it real pretty. And then let's do the three quarter pose. Okay. <clears throat> this is number, this is B. Okay. So. All along, if you already know what to do, that's great. But these are going to be, we're going to use these for clothing and all kinds of stuff later. So make sure they look really, really pretty when you're done. This looks like a little bit of a robot at the moment. So when I'm, when I'm finished with her, she'll look pretty. All right, and yours will too. So see how the center line is a little bit off? So here is, I would say, like the egg has to be here. Now, if you don't know how to do an egg, let me show you real quick. I'm going to remind you. <clears throat> you're gonna, it starts with a circle. And then you go to the chin and then come back up. So you can always do that. You can always start with a circle. I think people have a hard time figuring out if they're making a circle or not. So turn your paper around and look at it from different angles to make sure that yes, it is a circle and not an oval because it'll mess up if it's not a circle. Okay, so then you come down. I call it a little bird bowl with a little water. You can see a little bird sitting in there. And then it, isn't that pretty? 
Not easy? Okay. So you're going to do that. We'll clean this stuff up later. You already know what to do with the head because we did that. But this is a three-quarter pose. So let's see. Which way? Okay. She's kind of looking straight at us. Why don't we make her looking this direction? Okay. She's going to be looking over here. So where's the nose and the eyes? Okay. Eyes at half. Nose is at half of half. Mouth is at half of half of half. <clears throat> okay. So now we're going to have her look in this direction, and we already know that at that point you have to come out, oh, one third, one third, so up here is the hair, it comes above the head and it sticks out, the eye sticks out, the cheek sticks out, you're going to have a new little chin there, it moves over, um, you're going to have your occipital region on the back, so it's going to be a little bit bigger. So this is the egg, but this is the hair. So your hair has to come up a little bit, so just but keep your egg at the zero. You can't make the head bigger than, than the other proportions. And then we will follow the directions of, you know, eye is smaller here, medium sized, big. Your eye does not touch your ear. Your ear is back here. Flap, whole, lobe, roller coaster ride all that business. Okay, so then we're going to come up here to the nose. We're going to have our lips and then the chin comes to there, the neck comes out. Okay, so you're going to do you're going to work what you've already learned about three-quarter heads. Okay, so her remember her shoulders tilt a little bit. Okay. And her sternum, let's do, now we're going to go to here. Okay. So that curve is the next thing that you're going to do. So it starts here, it ends over here, and it curves. Okay. Next thing you're going to do is just slightly wider than the head. Is right here at the, the uh, right here at the three. Oh, I didn't. Do, I went to. I didn't go far enough. That's why you have to have your words. Hold on a second. <clears throat> okay. So four is down here. But that's why we also work with a pencil. There we go. That's better. Okay. So now we are going to go to the waist, which is three. Why don't we go ahead and do this line, the tilt. Mm, goes a little lower than that. So there's our tilt. And this chest is on the line. The hips are right here. And it has to be parallel, so go ahead and do that. Follow along with me if you want to. And then the knees are going to be at 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, boom, 6. Here's our 6. It's got to be parallel there. Okay, wonderful. Now, waist is tilting above the line because it went up like that. And so this one's a little below the line. So you're going to do your C's like I taught you how to do. And now we're going to go ahead and work her girl in here. She's stretching on the side. You can do your deltoid, beautiful deltoid, just a little bit above. Okay, and then you know that your belly button's a little below here. You okay? So if you're turning slightly, you're going to have to move things over a little bit. Now this one can touch the center, does not touch the side. You're going to see more of the side here. And this one's going to go off a little bit. Okay, so. But no touching in the middle there. So that's that's prettier. Okay, nice. Very nice. Okay, so now the we're going to go down to the hips. It has to be the same width, so you can go like that. See how it makes a really nice pelvic bone and a rib cage? bottom of the ribcage. I like that. Okay, yeah, I find myself special when I do that kind of thing. So, okay, so off of this line is going to be my new six. And this one is over here. It's outside the hip, so see how it's a little bit outside. Oh, there we go, with the six. And the sevens, we're going to so line that up, line that up like I did. Okay, so that one is going to go straight. See how this is almost straight down? That's our weight-bearing leg. 
and this one is a little tilted off. It's not our weight bearing leg. Okay. Okay, so now let's see here. We are, oh, where was I? Okay, let's go ahead. So this is going to be my quad with my knee. I'm going to have my seven back here because the front of your leg is going to be um, pretty straight from here. Um, hamstring, back of the leg, fattest part of the calf. Remember, at the ankle here, when it's a side leg, there's no ankle that sticks out. Okay, it's only on the front leg. All right, so I'm going to, I think I'm going to lower this just a little bit. I think it's too high. And remember, when I turn this, I'm drawing this upside down, so when I turn this over, I can look at it better. Okay, so this one is looking straight at you, so that I'm going to go ahead and give this one seven here, and then, yes, our beautiful ankles. Okay, so here we go. Now, remember the legs that are frontal, you kind of roll around that. Definitely want to have your beautiful calf right there. Okay, now, the, these are your, your ankle bones, okay? So you definitely want to come inside and roll around like that. Side roll around like that. It's very pretty. There's your foot. Depending on what kind of shoes we have, we'll deal with that later. Okay, so lovely little foot here. Remember four and three quarters. Okay. Okay, so that's great. And I, I like her. I think she looks pretty. I'm, once I turn this around, I think I'm gonna have to work on that little leg, but but it's looking good. All right. So at this point, the neck comes to there. I'm gonna roll around this. Then the oh, I love that pose. Okay, so. Um, this is going to be touching, so remember this is the fattest part of your arm, so underneath there would be, here's your deltoid to the two, bicep to there, but oh wow, we have the bat. Remember that? So it's pretty. That's how you do a, an arm that looks like that. Okay, and then you're going to add your hand. Okay, the next thing we're going to go, okay, so that's that. And then elbow. Around the deltoid, bicep, okay, bicep, bicep, oops, sorry, bicep cut, is that two? I got lost. That's the two, there's your bicep, your wrist is at four, do the bat. This is the fast place of the arm, and then we're going to do the hand, which we will work on later. Okay, so now that is basically it. And for your clavicle, you are gonna need a clavicle. So those are your clavicles for that one. And let's go back to this to A. Your clavicle is gonna be here. Okay, so that's rough. And what I'm going to do is clean it up, make them look really pretty. Like I said, I can tell everything you've done so just feel free to erase what you need to erase and i'm going to now finish these up and i will post these on your assignment so you can see what the finished product will be and remember these have to be submitted all three of these this is number three this is a and this is b please do a good job this is, like I said, very rough, but I'm going to clean it up right now, and we will use this later. So let me pause for a second. Okay, so that was Module 1 for Advanced Fashion Illustration. And this is what you're going to be turning in. So do a really good job this week. If you need me, go ahead and write to me, K-M-C-C-U-T-C-H-E-N at AII.edu. I have an Apple Watch. I can respond. Uh, sometimes I'm living on a boat, so if I'm offshore, I won't be able to um, hear it, but I will get to you very quickly. Okay? I hope you have a wonderful day and God bless you.